What is up, everybody? You know who I am. You know what this is. It's Cooking with Corey, episode four. The Fantastic Four. Quattro, Cinco, Sixo. Yeah, I know I didn't say it right. It's because I forgot what six is in Spanish, but it is what it is. Today, we are cooking something very muy bien. I'm gonna be cooking steak fajitas, and we're cutting them or making them into like either burritos or quesadillas. I haven't even decided yet. Everybody's making their own choice. I'm just whipping it up. I'm just the cook of the operation. I'm the cook of the house. That's all they want me for is my cooking abilities. Uh, Jesse keeps me locked up in our basement and only allows me to come out when it's time to cook. So stay tuned. We're gonna get straight to the cooking. You know what I'm saying. Let's go. Okay, so today we're gonna have cheesy Mexican rice, refried beans, black refried beans, red crushed pepper, black pepper, salt, of course the steak tips that are already seasoned in fajita seasoning, red pepper, green bell peppers, onions, and tomatoes. So of course, first things first, we're gonna start with cutting up the vegetables. I'll be honest, like I told you guys in the first episode, I'm totally clueless on how to do majority of this stuff. I just throw it together and hope for the best. So we're gonna cut up the red pepper. Shout out to Jesse and Jono for guiding me through how to cut a pepper before I started doing this and made myself look like an idiot. So let's get to it. Y'all, I'll give you five bucks if you just eat one of these seeds. Oh. Actually, no, hundred bucks, you eat that. How hot is this gonna be? It's fire, dude. Can I, is this even like, like is this when you sh when you shit like your shit's gonna sizzle when it hits the water by the way I'm not paying you hundred dollars <laughs> red peppers aren't spicy what even taste by? <laughs> was it pretty good it's like lettuce oh well I guess you got your greens for the day I can't swallow it though it's like hard I guess now we know that uh it tastes good. You know, they call me um, red hot chili peppers around these streets. <laughs> Oh, it's a heart because I love all of you viewers out there. So what this means is this is a sign that you should hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button right now. All of our um, red pepper is nice and chopped up. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the green pepper. Whip it up like a G-spot, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a G-spot, ha, ha, I grab the balls and I touch them, I finger that pussy, I fuck them, I say, hold up, bitch, let me dip it and whip, let me hit the thrust, pelvic thrust, pelvic, pelvic thrust, Now my head like, yeah, eat that pussy up, gobble, gobble. All right, now we're going to get to cutting the green pepper, get it all sliced up, and continue on with it. I won't make you eat this one. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I'm on the brinks of cutting my finger tonight. Yo, if this was Squid Game on being able to cut up <laughs> your <laughs> vegetables, I'd be dead. I'd be eliminated right now. We got the green pepper done. Now we're gonna move on. This is the part where we're gonna cue in some sad music because you guys know how it goes whenever I cut these onions. I just, there's something about it that just really hits me in an emotional way. And I just couldn't imagine the life of an onion being cut and just 
juice for what? For a little bit of flavor? <laughs> Nothing. Anyways, we're gonna get to cutting the onion. Back to this knife being trash. We're gonna take this moment to appreciate all of the um, onion lovers out there. Anyways, back to it. We, we got to take a break and go to this intermission and talk about our sponsor, Onions. If you ain't cooking with onion, you ain't cooking with nothing. Oh my god, my eyes are burning. I'm sorry for the emotional breakdown. There's just something about onions that gets to me every time. But now we're gonna start with the tomato. After that, we're gonna be done with cutting the veggie tails. All right, we're gonna get to cut, to cook it, to cutting the tomato. We're gonna get to cutting the tomato. We're gonna get to cutting the tomato. And after that, we're gonna start frying up the meat, mixing everything together and getting this shit with up. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Chef Boy RD. It's Chef Corey B from here on out, motherfuckers. <laughs> Chef Corey B, subscribe. All right, so we're gonna cut up some butter. Gonna get it thrown in the pan. We've been letting the pans warm up and everything. Then we're gonna throw the vegetables and the meat in there. Throw a little bit of red crushed pepper and actual salt and pepper in there. Spice it up a little bit, so let's get through it. Grab our foot, you of me. We're gonna let this sizzle up, let this cook up a little bit, and we'll get back with y'all. So now we're gonna cook up the rice and the beans, refried beans. I got black beans and I got just normal traditional refried beans. That's what I look like whenever I'm choking on um, water. We ain't using a baby spoon this time. Baby fork. Ow! I just... Ah! Ah! Somebody call 911! Alright, so we're gonna let that cook up. Uh, pee. To my finger. Alright, let's take five for a hot second. Uh, sorry, I, as you can see, bandaging myself, but my rice, I forgot to pour it in. Yeah, just give it my 
applying pressure. That's all I do. That's why they say I'm the ultimate D god. And I don't mean dick, I mean defense. Just scored on you. Alright, sorry for the incident. Sorry for the scare. Uh, as you can tell, we got that home ingenuity. Like, whenever you don't have band aids, it's called packing tape and paper towels. We got wrapped up so we don't get any blood on the uh, food, but we're gonna continue cooking from here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Kev's are here? The meat is done, the rice are done, uh, the rice is done, and the beans are done. So now, I know we had like a little bit of a hiccup and it's definitely fucked up the vibe of the shit. My finger is still fucking bleeding like 20, 25 minutes later. It's fucked up. Anyways, I'm gonna get to making the quesadillas, making the burritos, we're gonna get them fried up, gonna get them thrown in the oven, grill them up a little bit, and then, yeah. So, just stay tuned, just stay tuned. Follow me. A case of Dilla. A case on 4K. Alright, so the burrito, quesadilla are done. I'm gonna cut them up and we're gonna get to the ultimate taste test. You know what I'm saying? You guys know the vibe it's time for me and the cameraman Jono himself to try this out and let you guys know what it tastes like so stay tuned Can I You guys know the motherfucking time. It's the ultimate motherfucking tasters. All right, so you good? Yeah. All right. He's gonna try his quesadilla. I'm gonna try my burrito, and we'll let you guys know how it is. Oh, drop it. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah. That's dude, it, bro. Look at that shit right it's here. It's probably not gonna focus on it, but. Uh, wait. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. I got a bomb. <laughs> this, I give it a solid seven and a half. I was gonna give it like an eight. That, I mean, that's close. That's close. Let me get, let me get one more. You know what I'm saying? Watch me bite it and then watch the, uh, the pool. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, fuck. 
All right. So that's going to conclude this episode of Cooking with Corey. You guys know the vibe. It's like and it's motherfucking subscribe. Subscribe. Still 80, 80 plus percent of you guys that are watching right now are not subscribed. What are you doing? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? Like I said, subscribe. 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 Just do it. Subscribe. Please. Subscribe. Do it. Drop down in the comments below who uh, who do you think would win in a fight, me or Jono? Simple as that. I'm kicking his ass. But if you guys aren't subscribed to the boy Jono, youtube.com slash Jono? <laughs> he can't even keep it serious. I think it's youtube.com slash Jono. I don't know. It's in the description though, right below. I mean, this concludes this week's episode of Cooking with Coffee. So we'll see y'all next motherfucking week. Much love to everybody that tunes in. Much love to everybody that shows support. We will see you guys on the flip side.